Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So in today's video, we wanted to show y'all how you can make blue solar water at home. We're gonna go into the science behind it and how it can truly benefit you. So the person that discovered this was Dr. Masaru Moto. He was hey guys, so as I'm editing, I realized we made a mistake. Dr. Masaru Moto did not discover blue solar water. Blue solar water originates from a Hawaiian practice called Ho'oponopono. Dr. Masaru Moto, what he did was he discovered that water has consciousness, and I'm gonna go over this a little bit more in the video. He was a Japanese scientist and water researcher who found that there was a big correlation between thoughts and vibrations and the molecular structure of water. During his years of water research, he used high-speed photography to take pictures of crystallized water, and he noticed that the most beautiful crystals were formed after they were exposed to the words love and gratitude. This actually connects to basically the well-being of everybody and everything because Earth is mainly made of water, obviously, and so are our bodies. So the fact that people speak negatively or think negatively actually affects everybody as a whole, including Earth. So obviously we all want to have a more optimistic look on life rather than, you know, being a pessimist. I know a lot of people don't really take this into consideration that it's actually, it's more than just psychological it's also scientific and i know a lot of people that like i guess they don't really mean it whenever they say things like cuss words to each other or like they call each other names they use it because it's like it's like it's like fun for them or sarcasm it's like sarcastic but it truly has a profound effect so it's important for y'all to just watch what comes out of your mouth uh don't call people names just don't say mean things because it's affecting the person that you're saying them to and at the same time it is affecting you because it's lowering your vibration. Dr. Moto also saw that water from clear springs and water that had been exposed to, to loving words had a brilliant complex and colorful snowflake patterns while water that was from polluted sources or had been exposed to negative energies actually had a dual colors and it didn't look geometrical at all. So something really interesting that we came across was is called the rice experiment where it was performed over the span of two to three months and they basically had three containers full of rice. One of them was labeled love, the next one was labeled hate, uh, and then the third one was labeled ignore. They basically performed those actions of love, hate, and ignoring, you know, neglecting uh, one of them over that two to three month span. And interestingly enough, the one that got love had no mold. It was completely fine. It was just, you know, just regular rice. The one that had hate, you could probably guess it had mold in it. And the one that had ignore didn't have as much mold as the hate, but it still had mold. So, you know, neglect and ignoring things is also toxic in a way. Mm -hmm. And obviously hate is <laughs> way more toxic. That basically correlates with the water, right? Because mm -hmm. the rice absorbed the water. The person even said that like, by the looks of the, the, the rice in the love container, it looked like it was completely fine. Like he would have no problem eating it. So I thought that was pretty interesting. And this actually helped us really understand why in a lot of religions, people pray before they eat. In all, in all, I feel like all religions do that. All major re all religions, religions do. But people pray before they eat and they give thanks because that actually raises the vibration of the energy of food and different things. The only thing that we don't really agree on is how when you eat meat, a lot of the negative energies that the animals carry, like the life of suffering, you know, they're in cages, they're worried, they're scared for the life. All of that carries onto the food even when you cook it. And I feel like even praying for the food there, I feel like it's still not going to completely clear it. I just don't really see that as moral. So now that you guys understand how this process works and everything, we're going to show you guys how you can make this blue solar water. So step number one is you have to get one of these blue cobalt glass bottles. You could buy it on Amazon. We'll have the link down below, but if you could locally buy it, that would be even better. Way better. And I do recommend getting glass rather than like plastic or even metal because this won't leach any sort of hard chemicals into it. And it's also recyc recyclable. There you so. go, recyclable. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's naturally recyclable, so it's honestly just the best thing that you can use exactly. to drink anything. Blue brings water back to zero point energy. So it's able to clear out the energies at whenever you put it out in the sun. 
the sun's able to go in and the color's able to go in and clear out all the negative energies that the water has carried through time. If you haven't looked into color therapy, I suggest you highly do that. Um, we'll probably make videos more about color therapy in the future. But for now, we do want to tell you guys that the color blue is very calming and very soothing. There's actually been a lot of things done um, out in the infrastructure. Like I think, I think in some location in a train station, they had a bunch of suicides one year. So they installed blue lights all in the train station. And then the next year they had zero suicides. So that kind of goes to show how color therapy really, really has a tremendous impact on the lives of people. So step number two is to fill up your bottle with water. Uh, we like to use common water. We'll have a video, we'll have a link right here for another video to explain why. If you have filtered water, that would be even better than tap water, obviously. That way you don't have any extra toxins in there. Arsenic, different things. Right. Yes fluoride <laughs> just a bunch of different chemicals that are not good for you after you fill it up with the water you're going to cover it up with a non-metallic lid you can grab a little rag and then just use like a rubber band or a hair tie to just seal it you don't want to completely use a suction so we don't use this lid for when we do it all we do is we kind of just turn it upside down to where it's just covering the the lid to where no bugs or anything can get inside because apparently bugs really like blue solar water so they're going to be attracted to it so it's just to avoid any bugs of getting inside step number three you're going to place your bottle out in the sunlight you can leave it by a, a window or you can place it outside you're going to leave it for at least an hour and but you can do it for up to 12 hours the longer you leave it out in the sun, the sweeter the water becomes. So if you can leave it out for a few hours, the more the better. Just make sure you don't go over 12 hours. After you leave it out in the sunlight, you can refrigerate it. You can use it to cook. You can use it to make tea, make coffee, um, just a bunch of different things. And also whenever there is a full moon, put it out under the full moon all night so you can supercharge your water to even more. So after you do all that, you bring your water in and you will start to set intentions into the water. You have to bless your water mm -hmm. with loving and thankful words. An example of one, you could tell it and be like, I'm sorry, I love you, please forgive me. That's one thing that a lot of people do a lot. But you can also just set different intentions. Remember that love and gratitude are the ones that form the best crystals. So those are the best ones that you can you can use and like form around. And just be just be thankful that you were able to make blue so solar water and that you're able to drink blue solar water. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Now we do want to say that the best time to drink this water is after a dry fast. Because during a dry fast, your body loses a lot of water. And once you come in with this blue solar water and you drink it, it's able to fully replace a lot of the water that you had lost. So it's able to really go deep into your cells rather than if you drink it when you're full of water already, it's not really as beneficial as after drinking it after a dry fast. I'm sure that just, just uh, kind of covering that just really helps it make sense. I feel like there's not too much to explain. Like, I feel like you can it's kind pretty of, logic. It's, it's, it's pretty logical. The last thing we want to mention is that uh, blue solar water actually helps you cleanse yourself of any negative blockages or any sort of, you know, uh, bad energy that you may have held up over time. Any trauma. Right, it, it, it essentially hel helps you hit the reset button. It's almost like a therapy, mm -hmm. you know? So we really recommend that you guys start doing this, no matter what water you're drinking. Mm -hmm. I mean, hopefully common, but if you are uh, if you still don't have a common machine, this is still something really useful that will yeah. take, you, take you very far, you know, in, in your spiritual path. And if you do, all the better, because you're getting added benefits from medical grade water. That's pretty much all we wanted to cover today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope y'all learned something new. I hope y'all go out and buy these bottles and make some blue solar water and experience the lovely benefits that it provides. If you like this video and you like videos like these, make sure you hit the like button first. Make sure you turn on the little notification bell because apparently YouTube doesn't send out notifications anymore unless you have that little bell on. So that will help a ton. And we'll see you guys in the next one.